Hello everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to Bear With Me Episode 2. We were able to get into the steel mill, and now we need to figure out how to get this bucket down. I uh, don't know how to operate the crane, and let's see what Ted has to say. Can we lower that bucket somehow? Pretty much telling us our objective. Let's see. Can we grab that pipe now? I'll just confiscate this, obviously. Okay, he's not paying attention, so we can grab things now. Okay, now we can use the cog. Probably operates that crane. Handle is missing, though. Handle is missing. Okay. Is the pipe a handle? Let me see what the wrench does. Maybe something less destructive? Okay. Use the pipe. Doesn't seem to work. Nah. There. We got our wrench pipe. It's a mighty tool. Wrench pipe. Crank. Okay. So I take it that's gonna be our handle. There we go. Good as new. Okay. Use the cog now. Seems like it's stuck. We should oil it up. We have an oil can for that! Okay. There. Good as new. Okay. Use it now! Yay! Got the bucket down. Don't know what's Great in the job, bucket. Snoop. You seem surprised. I knew you could handle it. <laughs> Get it? Okay. Don't know what's in the bucket, but we're gonna see. Okay. Westpaw Casino matches. B was right. This is a solid lead, doll. So you think King's behind all of this? Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. What do you think we should do? Let's talk to Mills about this. I want to see how he'll react when he finds out his buddy might be behind this. Mills, Mills. Oh. Okay. Matches. Oh, okay. There's CBD. Oh, there's the red man! Clark, where are you? Are we controlling him again? Clark, where are you? Oh, no. Clark? And he's highlighted. Oh, there's a knife. You okay there, buddy? Okay, we can go in the diner. Clark? First. Oh no, do we have to stab CBG? Okay, we're at the mansion. Hello? Do you know what time it is? Who's there? Because you have all the... Ted and Amber, there we go. It's Ted, as in Ted and Amber. We need to talk to Mills, it's urgent. Can't it wait until morning? It could, but it won't. We found some evidence that might aid in the investigation of the steel mill arson. Oh my. All right, better come in, you two. 
Okay. There we go. It was at the gate. Okay, there's the intercom. Mr. A Bear. Hey there, Tin Man. How's Cowardly Lion, the Scarecrow, and the rest of the gang? I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I don't follow the Yellow Brick Road. Will you cut it out? <laughs> Hi there. Sorry for barging in so late, but we have some important information about the Steel Mill Fire. Master Mills is in his office, burning the midnight oil. Who should I say is here? Well, we represent the Lollipop Guild. Oh my god, stop it, Ted. No one <laughs> even remembers that movie anymore. That's a shame. It's a good movie. My girl Judy slayed in that. Yeah, it is a good movie. And the twist at the end, when it turns out it was all a dream. That's good writing, you know. I'm sorry. Um, pardon me. I must announce someone. Just say it's Miss Ashworth and her dim-witted donkey Lloyd. I... Hush, Lloyd. Amber's talking to the nice man now. As you wish, madam, <laughs> sir. Miss Ashworth's here to see you. And her donkey Lloyd. Say it. Say Lloyd's here too. And <sighs> her dim-witted donkey Lloyd. <laughs> wow. That was really immature. Well, I am ten. Can we move this <laughs> along? What's the holdup? Master Mills is expecting you in his office. Hmm. Are we supposed to know where his office is, or...? My apologies, Mr. Lloyd. It's up <laughs> the stairs to your right. Watch your step. Sure. And hey, don't worry, buddy. One day soon, you'll get your heart. I beg your pardon, sir. Just ignore him. Okay, going to the mayor's office. So I don't know what happened with the red man. There was an option between... Oh. Hi, Daniel. Long time no see. How have you been, you old so-and-so? Well, if it isn't my favorite detective duo. How are you guys? Can't complain. I mean, I could, but who'd listen? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, we got old bear. We sure did. Ah, uh, if I could go back now when life was simpler. Enjoy your youth while you can, girlie. One day soon, you'll wake up, and you'll need two butlers just to get out of bed. Yeah, and my butlers are always giving me the lip. Plus, I think they're stealing my silverware. Ah, indeed. Good help is hard to find these days. You mean with all the fires and whatnot? Hmm? Ah, yes. You heard about that. These are terrible times, Bear. It's a shame you've retired. We sure could use your level of expertise. So I've been told. Well, I'm here now. And so you are. How on earth did you guys enter the city? I mean, with a lockdown already in full effect. Mm, let's see, Brian doesn't want to lose his job. We use the East Tunnel's maintenance shaft. Eh, yeah, whatever the case. I'm glad you're here, Ted. I'm sure you two already heard about the... Red Man? We did. He's the reason we're here. I came to stop him. He's a maniac, Ted. And I fear he's after me, personally. You? What makes you think that? My meal, Ted. It was one of the first things to go down since he appeared. It was a clear message. Now, whenever I look out that window, I see rubble, Ted. We had a chance to snoop around the mill for a while. How sure are you that Red did this? What do you mean? Who else? Is this a statue of you? Uh, <laughs> you, yes, Federico Champone himself made it for me when I was elected the mayor. Just, uh, be careful, girl. What do you mean, Ted? Who else would have done it? Ever since that monster showed up, there have been new fires every day. He'll burn her to the ground, Ted. Our beautiful city. Not the description I would use, but sure. What evidence? I found some things the police apparently overlooked. Both lead to the infamous casino owner. King? I, I don't believe it. King and I... W w w w we... Yeah, your buddies. No need to hide from me, Daniel. I'm here to help you. I wouldn't call us buddies. We socialize. What evidence do you have of this? We found the matches used to start the fire. They belong to the Westpaw Club and Casino. D Dad, these are serious allegations. If I'm to move against King, I have to have some hard-pressed facts. Wow, this is a big key. Is it for some huge house? 
That's, um... That, that's the key to the city, girl. Actually, Ted here was one of the few to receive it. He didn't show up to the ceremony? No, he did, but he was, well... Sleepy that day. He was drunk, wasn't he? <laughs> Can we move this along? We have a long night in front of us. We'll stop by King's Casino tonight. If I can get into his lounge, I'll go and ask him some questions. Where is your key, Ted? I gave it away to Charity. Doll, please, let us talk. Ted, be smart about this. You think King will just play along? I don't care anymore, Daniel. I'm here to finish this. If that means I have to dive headfirst in the shark tank, then so be it. King was left to his own devices for too long, and now he's brought this disaster to our city. It's time to put an end to his reign. God damn it, son. You're right. Is there anything I can do to help? You can get us into the casino for starters. We'll take it from there. I'll snoop around and see if I can find some evidence that'll help our case. What I'm saying is I found some things at the mill that would suggest someone wanted to make it look like Red did it to cover his tracks. Whoa, 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 wait. You think King was the one that brought Red to paper I don't know yet. It's what I suspect. Hmm. Uh, could this have something to do with the elections? Well... That's a motive if I ever saw one. All right, Ted. You're in luck, actually. I'm really not. No? I mean, there's a gala at the casino tonight. Some fundraiser King's throwing. For underprivileged rich snobs? I don't know. I want to say owls. Doesn't matter. All right, we'll go and try to get in. <laughs> Ted, if you do manage to get in, don't let King get the upper hand. He won't hesitate. <gasps> to kill us? Oh my god! I'm sorry, I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> Anyways, we have to go now, Daniel. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Sure thing, Ted. Just want your back out there. Huh. Thanks. Will do. Bye, Mr. Mills. It's me. They're on the way. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ted, wait. We need to go back. We didn't ask him about Flint. Stay. I didn't ask him anything, because I don't really trust him. He was acting a bit strange tonight. It could have something to do with the Red Man, like he said. But something feels off. Like what? I don't know yet, but I intend to find out. Let's just head to the casino for now. We'll deal with Mills later. Okay. At least he already figures that there's something going on. Okay. I'll leave it here for now. I'll get back to this very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.